In this video, we're going to be talking about Eulerian graphs. So that is pronounced Euler, E-U-L-E-R, named after a famous mathematician, Leonard Euler. Um, but for now, we need to just introduce um, some basic stuff so that we can talk about these graphs. So first, let's just think about this graph here in blue, and we're going to ask ourselves a couple of questions about it. The first is, can we begin at a vertex, start walking across edges? So for example, say you start down here in the corner, like you can walk across this edge, and then the next edge you take has to be one of these three. So that's what I mean when I say, quote, walking across edges. You have to follow um, edges that are sort of adjacent to each other. And we want to know, can we do that and travel across every edge exactly one time? Um, so for example, maybe these this graph represents a neighborhood, uh, and each of these vertices is an intersection where streets meet, and the mailman wants to be it, wants to know, can they drive or walk down every single street and deliver the mail and not have to double back on themselves, right? So they're going to have to walk across every single street or travel every edge, and is it possible that they can do that and never have to walk the same street twice, right? Because ideally they don't want to have to double back um, and walk down a street where they've already delivered the mail. So that's the question that we're interested in for Eulerian graphs, or one of the questions. Um, the next question is, does the starting position matter? Um, for example, can we do this if we start at this vertex? Can we do it if we start here in the middle? Um, does that even make a difference? Um, okay, so keep these in mind. We're not going to answer these questions right now, but this is just a primer for why we're talking about this stuff. And then the last one is, if we can start at a vertex and use every edge, is it possible that we can end up back where we started, right? So can we begin and end at the same vertex? So maybe the mailman comes and parks their car, or maybe it's a security officer and they want to, you know, neighborhood patrol and they're going to patrol every street and they come and park their car here. Well, can they walk across every street once and end up back at their car, right? Because if they end up over here, that's no good. They're just going to have to walk right all the way back across this graph until they get to their car anyway. So it's not really um, bit as beneficial. Okay, so these are the types of questions we're interested in. Can you use every edge exactly one time uh, while you're sort of, quote, walking around the graph? Um, does it matter where you start in the graph? And can you begin and end in the same place? Okay, so we want to make these ideas a little bit formal, so we're going to get some terminology for talking about this stuff. So first up is a trail. A trail in a graph is similar to a path, except that you can repeat vertices. So remember, a path is a sequence of vertices where you follow each vertex by one of its neighbors, um, but you're not allowed to repeat any vertices. Well, now we are allowed to repeat vertices. We're just not allowed to repeat edges. Okay, so for example, um, a trail in this graph that's in purple here, maybe you start up here and you use this edge. And then you use this edge. And then you use this edge. And then this one. 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 Okay, so if you want to go back and rewind and watch that again, it's sort of hard to see exactly what happened. Um, now that we're done, but essentially I revisited a couple of vertices, right? I revisited this one after I had already been to it, and I revisited this one after I had already been to it, and that's fine. So a trail is similar to the idea of a path, except you can revisit vertices after you've already been there. Um, and that's going to be important because if we want to consider the question about whether we can do this and use up every edge in the graph, we are, of course, going to have to come back and visit vertices multiple times if they have a degree larger than two. Okay, and the similar idea for cycles is a circuit. So remember, a cycle is just like a path, except you start and end in the same place, and a circuit is just like a trail, except you start and end in the same place. So a circuit is a closed trail. Closed means that you start and end at the same vertex. So for example, let's just see another one of, one of these real quick. So let's just start in the middle this time. Maybe we start here, uh, and then we take this edge, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. And we can just sort of travel around, and as long as we're not reusing edges, we're fine. Um, so we started in the middle, so let's go ahead and end up here. Okay, so this is an example of a circuit, right? We sort of took this loop, we came back to the original place, that's fine, because we're allowed to revisit vertices and trails, right? And then we sort of took this loop, 
and then we came back to the original place and now we stopped. So we started and stopped at the same vertex, this one in the middle. That makes it a circuit, right? Um, it's, it's a trail that starts and ends in the same place. Okay, so this terminology, circuit and trail, are exactly the types of things we were asking about in the beginning. Now, an Eulerian circuit is a circuit that uses every single edge. So that means, in the case of this blue graph, right, we had started here, and if we had been able to walk around and use every single edge in this blue graph and end up back at the vertex where we started, that would be an Eulerian circuit. And there's also the idea of an Eulerian trail, which is a trail that uses every single edge. Okay, so let's come back to our original graph. This was the graph at the top of the video. So, the first time we wrote A, it was in the language, you can go back and look if you want, but it's in the language that says if we want to start at a vertex and walk around all the edges and use every edge once. So, in our new terminology, that's asking, does G have an Eulerian circuit or an Eulerian trail? And then question B was, does the starting position matter? Okay, well, that's still just the same. And then the last one was, can you start and end in the same place? Or in other words, does it specifically have an Eulerian circuit? So, we're about to answer this question um, for this graph, and so you may want to pause the video and think about it for yourself before I give you the answer, um, but we're about to say the answer. Okay, so maybe you thought about it and maybe not, but it turns out that this graph does, in fact, have an Eulerian circuit, meaning you can start and stop at the same spot, um, but it does not have an Eulerian trail, meaning you have to stop wherever you started. So let's just see what happens if we say start in this middle vertex here. So we take this edge, okay, and then maybe we take this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this, and we're sort of cruising along here. We're using up edges as we go, right? And we're just kind of cruising. And notice we're not reusing edges. We are allowed to repeat vertices, but not edges. And then, lo and behold, we traveled every edge exactly once, ended up back where we started. So this does have what's called an Eulerian circuit. I just gave you an example of an Eulerian circuit. But it does not have an Eulerian trail. Okay, you cannot start and stop in different places and use every single edge exactly once. Does the starting position matter? For an Eulerian circuit, it doesn't. So, for example, I started at this vertex, but in this graph, because it has any Eulerian circuit, I could start. A, I could have started at any place. So let's maybe go back and try it from somewhere different. So maybe I start down here in the bottom left corner this time. Okay, so I travel here, and then here, and then maybe here. And so I'm kind of cruising around. I'm going along. So I'm using every edge, but I'm never repeating edges, and then lo and behold, back where I started. Okay, so in this graph, it turns out that we can start anywhere we want, and it'll work. Um, so the answer for this is, it does have an Eulerian circuit, does not have an Eulerian trail, does the starting position matter? No, it doesn't for this circuit. And does it have a circuit? Yes. So in the next video, which is also about Eulerian graphs, we're going to talk about how you know from looking at the graph whether or not it will have an Eulerian circuit or an Eulerian trail. And it turns out there's a very easy test to determine whether or not you can do this. Um, also, let me just say, this type of problem is not just graph theoretic. I mean, People are interested in the answer to this. Like if you imagine a company like UPS or FedEx um, and they're trying to deliver packages all over a town, they don't want to waste a bunch of wear and tear on their vehicles and a bunch of gas and a bunch of time for their drivers traveling the same streets multiple times. So if they're trying to visit a bunch of places um, and deliver packages, they want to do that in the most efficient way, meaning they don't travel edges more than once if they have to, right? They don't drive down streets more than once if they have to. So anyway, that's our introduction, uh, and next time we'll give some results that tell you exactly when um, graphs have Eulerian circuits and when they have Eulerian trails.